On Resurrection Day, nearly 2,000 years ago, two disciples, according to Luke chapter 24, were transformed by their experience of the risen Messiah at a table in Emmaus. While walking to Emmaus, they heard the story of a Messiah who must first suffer and then enter glory. The stranger who walked with them expounded Scripture, and their hearts burned within them as they saw the story of God in new ways. As the Scriptures were open, so were their hearts. At a table in the city of Emmaus, the stranger took the bread, blessed God, broke it, gave it to the two disciples. In that moment, the risen Messiah was made known to these disciples in the breaking of the bread. What happened in the breaking of the bread? What continues to happen in the breaking of the bread? At the table, the living Messiah is made known within the community of disciples. When disciples of Jesus are gathered around the table, Jesus is present. And more than present, Jesus is revealed. Jesus said as much earlier in Luke, This is my body. And this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Of course, the problem is the meaning of is. It depends on what the meaning of is is, right? Paul expands the is in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16. Is not the breaking of bread a sharing in the body of Christ? And is not the cup a sharing in the blood of Christ? When we eat the bread and drink the cup, we participate or share in the blessing of and commune with the one who gave himself for us. We share in the benefits of God's work in Christ. We experience the reality of the body and blood of Jesus. We experience peace with God. And at the table, we are not only assured of God's grace, but also God gives grace there. Luke also provides his own explanation in Luke chapter 24, verse 35. At the table, the living Jesus is revealed or made known. The relationship between the sign, bread and wine, and the thing signified, body and blood, is not merely symbolic or representative, but neither is its nature or substance changed. The bread and wine become a means by which the living Christ is revealed. It is an epiphany which reveals and visibly communicates the reality of the living Christ in the community. The table becomes more than a cognitive remembrance where we learn something about Christ. The table becomes a means by which we experience the living Christ and participate in the reality of the new creation inaugurated by the resurrection of Jesus. At the table, Jesus reveals the future. We remember the future, and we experience the future. The table is an epiphany. We see the future. Death will not win. Christ has already won. Every resurrection day, Disciples all over the world gather around the table, and there the living Christ is made known. We not only learn about Christ, we experience Christ. We not only learn about the new creation inaugurated by the resurrection of Jesus, we also taste it. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who did not leave us in the dust of death, but has given us new life through Jesus, who is our life.